welcome to Half the Battle. You know what I like? Toys. You know what I also like? Movies. So movies that are giant toy commercials should be awesome, right? And that always, in fact, hardly ever. But there are some good ones and some awful ones. So today, I'm ranking Hasbro movies from best to worst. I am going to limit the list of movies I've actually seen, so this won't be every Hasbro movie ever. Sorry, my little pony fans. And I'm mostly gonna keep the list of films that had a theatrical release. Oh, and it's movies Hasbro had a hand in. Otherwise, the number one best movie would be Clue. Very, very loosely based on the board game, since it's awesome. But for the purpose of this video, I'm calling it an honorable mention. Anyway, on with the list. Fifth best, G.I. Joe Retaliation. Okay, this movie has caught a lot of flack, some from me even, but I still liked it. The rock was good, the ninja stuff was good, and I liked Jonathan Price's performance as Sartan slash the president. Also, Cobra Commander actually looked like Cobra Commander. Unlike... Fifth worst, The Rise of Cobra. God, that movie was a mess. They made the Baroness Duke's former fiancé, as well as the sister of Cobra Commander. Um, spoilers, I guess. Who looked nothing like Cobra Commander, even when he officially picked up the title. At least Brendan Fraser was cool for all the minute you saw him. Uh, I wanna talk about a good G.I. Joe movie for once. Fourth best, G.I. Joe Resolute. And I have to cheat because technically this isn't a movie. It's a bunch of five minute episodes strung together, but I wanted some G.I. Joy on this list, so I'm counting it. Usually, more gritty reimaginings of children's cartoons don't go down well, but Resolute managed to pull it off without making the mistake of getting too dark and edgy. They did a good job here. Unlike. Fourth worst, G.I. Joe the movie. I bet you thought this was going to be my number one pick, huh? Yeah, just imagine what turns are yet to come. Yeah, the movie is bad, but it does have one or two redeeming features, like the good animation and the kick-ass opening. So, mostly bad with some good stuff. The exact opposite of... Third best, Transformers the movie. It had a few bad bits, the massacre of so many characters comes to mind, and really, but overall, it was a good movie. Great animation, a terrific soundtrack, and a decent story. Okay, so it's basically Star Wars with more robots and Mega Maid instead of the Death Star, but it worked! And if you think we're through with Transformers, you ain't seen nothing yet! Third worst, all Transformers movies between Transformers and Bumblebee. Transformers Revenge of the Dark Age of the Last Night. Now, why am I putting all of them together here? Because I can barely remember what happened in any of them. And I own them all! I think it was Lindsay Ellis who said in an essay that nothing from those movies sticks with you, and I think she was right. And the only things I do remember are the bad bits. Two had the enemy scrotum thing. I am directly below! Enemy scrotum! Four had a character who carried a card explaining how he's technically and legally not a pedophile. Because sure, you wanna put that in a movie for kids. Five revealed Earth is Unicron or some crap, and I remembered nothing about Dark of the Moon before looking up a synopsis, and it had the Deep Wang guy. Deep Wang. Deep Wang. All four movies just blend together into a forgettable pile of CGI crud, so they all share the same spot. Okay, I'm gonna need something to restore my faith in the series after this, so... Second best, Transformers. The first live-action movie was memorable, and a fun action film. Sure, the redesign of most of the characters, except maybe Optimus Prime, was jarring and took getting used to, but they looked okay. Good action, good story, good introduction to the characters. Too bad they dropped the ball for the next four movies. And yes, we all remember the pissing scene. Bumblebee. Stop lubricating the man. Second worst, Snake Eyes Origins. This movie didn't have a robot pissing, and that's the only really nice thing I can say about it. I mean, I appreciate it they tried to do a different take on Snake Eyes, 
too bad it didn't work, like, at all, at least judging by the intended audience's reception. And look, I already did a video on this movie, so feel free to check that out. And hey, at least it's not the worst Hasbro movie. And the best Hasbro movie is... Bumblebee! Redemption after four forgettable, mediocre pieces of dreck. Bumblebee got the humor right, got the fan service right, and it was an entertaining, at times even moving, story. Also, it convinced me John Cena should play Duke if we ever get another G.I. Joe reboot movie. And he's not busy being one of the few highlights of the DCU. And the worst Hasbro movie is... A TIE! Battleship and Gem and the Holograms. I'll admit it, I gave up here, I just couldn't pick between the two. They both deserve the spot for different reasons. Gem and the Holograms because it really, really isn't Gem and the Holograms. It's like they took another movie script and slapped a brand name on it. Without that, it would have been an okay-ish forgettable teen movie, but now it's just an insult to the source material. The only part where it became a bit like the original is in the post credit scene introducing the Misfits as sequel bait. Our songs are better. We're gonna get her. <laughs> because this was one movie that was sure to get a sequel! Meanwhile, Battleship is... Battleship. The best way to describe it is they made a Transformers movie without any Transformers in it. Or a G.I. Joe movie without Cobra. Oh wait, they already did that. Look, there's nothing wrong with dumb action movies, but they need to have something that makes them stand out. Commando at Arnold and that Bennett guy, no, that one. Battleship at Rihanna? Oh, and Liam Neeson, which I had forgotten until I looked up the movie for this video. So, there are your co-winners. Next time, they should have gem fight invading aliens, so you get the best of both worlds. Or, the worst of both worlds. And that was the list. Did I leave any out? Or would if you put something else in the top spots? Do let me know in the comments below. Well, I'll see you next time, everybody. And hey, why not like, share, and subscribe, if that's your thing. Crashing.